Hello, in this video we are going to discuss about a beam problem where the forces are being applied at an inclination like like in this one 60 degree 45 and 30 degree. So there is a particular procedure to model this in ANSYS uh, that uh, incorporates a method known as uh, rotating of nodes. So basically over here if we can see if this is the perpendicular so we have to rotate the node clockwise in as 30 degrees so 90 minus 60 we have to do so we will just see what we have to do let's jump into ANSYS preferences I am going to give structural preprocessor element type to be beam 2D ok then material properties material model structural linear elastic isotropic and this is given to be so close sections beam and common section this is divide, uh, defined as 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 you can click on preview to see the preview to hide it just replot and uh, next i am going for modeling create key points in active cs first one is at origin just just apply it so it's created second one it is at one meter third one is at two meters fourth one is at three meters whereas fifth one is at four meters so we have created five uh, key points i'm going to create lines one two 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 three three two four four two five okay then uh, before meshing i'm going to control its size manual control and all lines i'm going to divide it as 50 okay and uh, go for mesh tool mesh all these four lines i'm going to plot the lines again to see the distinct lines now we have to define the load but before that i'm going to actually rotate the nodes that we have created so for rotating the nodes we'll go back again for uh, modeling and uh, create nodes and rotate node in coordinate system so we have to go by angles i'll just zoom in so i can show you which nodes we have to do so this is a uh, bluish line and this is a violet line and in between there this this particular node we have to turn so click by angle click this node apply and the node we have to rotate is this is at 60 degree and initially uh, if we apply the load that is going to be in this direction in the cursor's direction that is minus 100 kilo newton in y uh, negative y direction so in order to rotate it by this much degree how much we have to rotate so if this is the initial position like if we don't rotate and directly give it as uh, f y and negative direction of 100 newton so it will po point downwards but we have to incline it at this much by this this much degree so the difference between the perpendicular and this line is 30 so we have to actually move it by 30 degrees and since we are going counterclockwise so it's always negative that's why uh, we take uh, minus 30 so we are moving uh, clockwise so we have to take negative from the perpendicular to this much we are going 30 degrees so just keep that in mind that's what we have to give minus 30 so we are rotating the node by minus 30 rotating the node by 30 degrees in clockwise direction so that the ang uh, the force that is being app applied is at 60 degree with the axis so just just remember this click ok next i am going for the another segment this is violet line and this is red line in between there is a node click on that apply and uh, let's see what's given over here that is 45 so initially if we didn't rotate our node and we gave 200 in a negative y direction so it might be pro it would be pointing downwards like the vertically 
but now we have to actually rotate our node such that this is the final inclination so from perpendicular if we are rotating like this then we are moving 45 degrees over here but since we are moving our uh, initially vertical line to 45 we are moving in clockwise direction and always the angle in clockwise direction is negative so we'll take that as negative 45 click on ok move to the next segment by angles click on this node go to apply and let's see this one I'm explaining this one by one and in detail because once you just uh, understand it there is no need to understand it again that's why so over here again if we uh, just uh, don't care about this 30 degree so initially if we had only 300 Newton acting vertically downwards so if now we want it at this much inclination so what we had to do we had to rotate our force that is acting vertically downward in this manner in this fashion from perpendicular to this angle so this whole angle is 90 degree and 90 minus 30 since we have to move from here to here so 90 minus 30 that is 60 degree and that to 60 degree we have to move from this point from the vertical to this point so 60 degree in clockwise direction over here that is minus 60 since we are moving clockwise it's always minus 60 just type minus 60 and click on ok so now we have defined everything over here next I am going to go for loads and apply loads structural displacement on nodes or you can say on key points over here and over here we have to define the constraint first so on this one we have ux ui uz rotation in x and rotation in y except rotation in z it's all constraint for uh, the last one we have only constraint in y direction so that's it and now we are going to apply the forces that i'm going to apply on nodes and i'm going to select this node apply and that is in y direction negative y direction basically i'm talking about this force that is in y direction and that to negative y direction so specify it as minus 100 click on apply that is at 60 degree now for the second one i am going over let's zoom and see see that's the problem i'm i wanted this but i have selected this no problem i'll unpick this one fine go for apply the next one is 200 click on ok that was at uh, 45 degree and the last that was at 30 degree that's why it's always better to just zoom in and uh, select the nodes that you are going to work with Col select this node and that is defined as minus 300 Newton click on ok that is at 30 degree so if we zoom out everything is lost just don't worry about it we have already defined even replotting it doesn't do anything so next what I am going to do is go for solution solve solution is done next what I want is uh, I can either go for displacements I can uh, go for nodal solution DOF and displacement vector sum that's basically our displacement and uh, you can go ahead and uh, capture the image always make a particular folder of your project so that whatever you are saving it remains in one folder so this is displacement so I have already cre created a folder with the 17th question as folder name 
so displacement save so the black background is automatically converted into the white background and this is already saved so next what I am going to get is uh, I want stresses so I'll go again in nodal solution I'll go in stresses I'll select one my stress collection of all stresses deformed with undeformed model and this is the one my stress again you can capture it and uh, you can name it as one my stress plot and save it I have I'm saving in in the same folder actually so there you have it we have saved it now now for BMD and SFD diagram we have to define an element table so go for element table define table add then uh, by sequence number SMISC3 apply SMISC6 apply SMISC16 apply SMISC19 apply basically why this so you can uh, search about this in the help tab of ANSYS SMISC and it's very it, it, it's explained very well over there so basically the combination of 3 as well as 16 will give us bending moment diagram and combination of 6 and 19 will give us the shear force diag diagram how we'll just do that in the next step so go for plot results go for counter plot line element uh, results and this is the place where we have to use the combinations so 3 with 16 gives us the bending moment diagram click ok so that's the bending moment diagram you are getting you can give the title over here whatever you want and the next thing I can get is uh, the shear force diagram that is 16 and 19 6 and 19 gives you the shear force diagram this is the shear force diagram so basically this is how you solve the question